Are you grumpy today, Mr. Welton? I guess you haven't had your coffee yet. Dennis the Menace had a four-year run on CBS, and it turned Jay North into a star. But when the show was over, Jay, who was only 11 years old, began to believe his career was over, too. All the pressure that I had was make people love you, make people enjoy you. And all of a sudden, it wasn't there anymore. And when all that ends, it's like you're turned inside out. and You go outside, and no one's fawning over you or paying attention to you, and it's it's really something to come to terms with. Like Jay, Jeannie Russell also had a difficult time finding work, but she thanks her mother for helping her launch a career outside of acting. When I was 18 years old and depressed because I wasn't working, she handed me a bank book, and she said, sweetheart, your career may be over, but look what show business did for you. And I thought, whoa, you know, and I put myself through chiropractic school. Jeannie is in practice to this day in North Hollywood, but she also never forgot her roots as a child actor. She and fellow child star Paul Peterson went to work to revise an old law with a flaw. The Coogan Law was always in place, but children didn't own their, their own money in California until 2000. The parents rightfully owned it. And we took that to Screen Actors Guild, and even the, the attorneys and the executives at the Guild said, you got to be kidding when they saw the laws, literally taking candy from babies. Gosh, poor mom. After years of turmoil and having bad feelings towards Dennis the Menace, Jay began to really find happiness in 1993. Well, I've made peace with the show. I realized, though, that I had to physically remove myself from Los Angeles to get the show business mentality out of my head. I work for the Florida Department of Corrections. I love Florida, I love my wife, I love my life down there. Gloria Henry is a young 88 and lives in LA. After Dennis the Menace, Gloria became a stay-at-home mom raising three children. She had many roles in the 80s and 90s, but the acting bug has struck again. Just lately, and I think it's all because of Betty White, I think she can't have all the jobs, you know. <laughs> if she's so proud of being 89. Who knows what the future holds, but one thing is for sure. These are three people with one special bond, all thanks to a TV show that is sure to entertain generations to come. You know why? Because you're the best mom in the whole world. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis.